right, what's going on, everybody? We got a special edition of the Art and the Artist. I am here with the very prolific Joseph Avizian. Avazian. Avazian. Thank you. Of course, I messed it up. I should have gone. AKA Chopak Dompings. I mean, this guy does everything, okay? <laughs> Skateboarder, artist, videographer, DJ, photographer. I met Joseph at an art show and he was outside hustling his paintings and I knew, all right, I gotta have to speak to this man one day soon, man. So thank you for joining thank me, you, sir. Brother. Thank, thank you, Thank you, thank you. All right, so we're here in the beautiful city of Glendale, uh, his hometown. Hometown, grew up here since I was eight. Been skating this skate spot since 1995, and it was usually, uh, originally called Sanwa Bank, so we still call it Sanwa. No, oh, all right, yeah. okay. Low key. Oh. I even had an art opening here before. Oh, you in the parking lot here, or inside it, the bank? On bed. that wall, uh -huh. me, and, uh, me and my friend Ario, we did a collaboration of postcards, and okay. then a few bigger pieces we put on the wall. Okay. Oh. And like 30 people showed up. Yeah, oh, no shit. Skating and drinking, yeah, and yeah, sweating man. balls. Yeah. So I was like, damn, we're gonna get rolled up here. Nothing happened. Oh, okay. Yeah. No cops, no nothing. Things. Yeah. That's beautiful, It was, man. It was nice. <laughs> and like, like the ultimate hustler, man. I love that, man. I absolutely love that. <laughs> All right, so, so would, how would you say that growing up in Glendale kind of influenced the way that you create? Uh, did it have any impact? Glendale is just a very strange city. You see a lot of uh, different kind of people, like, even in this parking lot, you'll see like a lot of weird, sketchy shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's always funny. It's always a situation, you know? Uh -huh. And being a skateboarder, you're kind of a bad kid. You're always like yeah. seeking yeah. weird shit or finding some place to do it, you know? Yeah. But as far as like art through for, from the city, it felt like I, I felt like I was in New York yeah. to me. Glendale felt like New York. Yeah, yeah. Because I came to America when I was eight. Okay. I never really lived in like a city like this. Because I grew, I grew up in uh, in Iran uh -huh. until I was uh, four and a half, and then I moved to India for six months, and then okay. Germany for two and a half years. Ah, oh, interesting. So I had all this shit, you know? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I would draw with my dad. My dad was a great artist. Yeah. So I sit, draw with him, and it just, or being in, in class, I would just, I like to just draw. I didn't yeah. like to do homework, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. I understand that, man. <laughs> and then <clears throat> starting skating at 13, like, you look at boards, you go to the skate shop, yeah, and yeah. every graphic is a trip. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, I like this graphic, you like that. And then yeah. you, you start like doing your own yeah, yeah. through that, yeah. All but right. from, from in this, just the, the, the city is like full of characters. Yeah, yeah. So maybe, I don't know, it's just different. I don't know if, if it has anything to do with art, but it's definitely like a, a visual city. Yeah, yeah. So like that, visually uh -huh. for sure. Yeah. You know, it's funny, you know, I, I know this city very well. The first few jobs I had out of high school, I'm gonna date myself a little bit, but I worked at the Circuit City. Oh, dope. Uh, in the exchange, you know, when there was oh, a Circuit the exchange. City. Yeah, yeah man. great, the frogs, <laughs> Yeah, the frogs. Exactly, yeah, bro, so. They took them out. Yeah, They're yeah, it's all anymore. gone now, man. The whole exchange the music was exchange. Different. The, the one that had also used CDs. Yeah, and yeah. you could go listen with headphones. Yes. I loved going yeah. there, my favorite. Yeah. So your dad is an artist, right? He was. He was an artist. Yeah. So well, first, what, what style did your, did your dad create? And also, how did your dad, being an artist, influence you? Uh, because I was like a hyper kid. I always yeah. wanted to do stuff. Yeah. So that was like one of the things we would do together that I yeah. like would like zen out to. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. Do it together. I like to go walk and ask yeah. questions and yeah. play soccer. Uh-huh. So through like his his style is like he could draw you the way you look. Like yeah. his por portraits or buildings the way yeah. like per perfect. Like yeah. he's like a he's like a what do they call it? Perfectionist. Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, he was an ambidextrous dude. Oh, no shit. So he could draw up with both hands. Okay. Trippy yeah, shit like that. Yeah. He was different, you know? Yeah, yeah. Different kind of guy. That's awesome. And man. he could fix anything. Yeah. Cars, this, the appliances, yeah. anything he could fix. Yeah. Yeah, trippy dude. That's awesome. All right. So did he, uh, so then he was probably like your first art teacher, right? For your sure, first. 100%. Yeah. 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 Like I still could draw the way he taught me. Yeah. You know, which I sometimes do. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and that brings me to your style, man. Well, first I want to say you're very prolific, man. Like you've got, I remember when I met you and you were selling pieces outside of the show, you had a bunch of stuff, man. Bunch, they're all yeah, different. Yeah. yeah, how do you find the time to create, to skate, all the other endeavors that you do and still yeah. have time to have a life, man? 
That, that is my life. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh -huh. <laughs> so, so I made yeah. that my life because I, I, I figured like you only live this one time. Yeah. Why, why do I have to wake up when somebody else wants me to wake up to go make their money? Yeah. And then at the end of the day, they mistreat you at the job. Yes, yes, you know? absolutely. Why am I helping you and you mistreating me? Yeah. I, I, I'll live my way. I'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. man. Oh, man. <laughs> I love that. I, I'm telling you, as a true artist in every sense of the word, man. Like, like a throwback artist. I have, man. A good, I, uh, I have a friend named Gus. He's a homeless in Glendale. Yeah. Smart dude. He yeah. learned how to play guitar on his own. He could do the Rubik's Cube. Yeah, He's yeah. Genius. Uh -huh. I said, Gus, you could do anything. Well, what's up with you? Yeah. He, he said, I don't want my body to wake up at a time that it doesn't want it to. I agree. Absolutely. But that's a little extreme. Yeah, that, yeah that, that's a bit, but I understand yeah. the sentiment. You know what I mean? Yeah, like I had to get up on time to come visit you today. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like that. <laughs> Fucking awesome, man. Okay. All right, so when you decided, all right, I'm going to be a professional artist full time, how did your family react to that? I, I would imagine not, not so tough because, because not your tough. dad is an artist. Yeah, not tough at all because I... I wasn't, when I grew up skate. I wasn't really trying to make money from skating, yeah. but they didn't like me skateboarding because I was getting uh, hurt all the time. Oh, okay, sure. So when sure. it comes to art, not yeah. only is it like beautiful to everybody, yeah. but it's like a safe thing to do, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I continue to skate anyway. I yeah. skate all the time. Yeah. Okay, you know, I want to talk about skating, all right? Because, mm. I mean, it's very much a Southern California thing to do. Totally, you know 100, I mean? yeah. Um, but I will say now, I mean, it was, yeah, now it's worldwide yeah. because of Olympics. And Absolutely. Nike came in with yeah. money. Adidas is giving money. Yeah. 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 And, um, like I was telling you before we started shooting, um, I was around when Tony Hawk pro skater one first came yep. out. Right. And after that video game, everyone I knew started skating. Yep. And it, it was such a big deal. Heavily influential. Yeah. For sure. That just that game. Yeah. Yeah. So because anybody could do it. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah. And then you could go buy it a kinda, board it and kinda, try it yeah, out. And it kind of helped like like playing it. It kind of teaches you. Yeah. If you watch videos, that's how you usually learn or yeah. with friends. Yeah. But if you watch the technique in the video game, yeah. it kind of like slows it down a yeah. little bit. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. And it's like repetitive this, every time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. it, it's never changed. But Real life skateboarding, if you do like 10 kickflips, most of the time it's not gonna look, mm -hmm. I mean, sure, they could all look good, but even the sketchy ones yeah. like, are, are cooler, but you'll never experience that yeah. with the game. Yeah, It's yeah, always gonna right. be locked and yeah. done the same way, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But, so how did you start skating? Was it just something you saw and you wanted to do? Yeah. I got a board for Christmas as a kid, yeah. and I rolled around for a while, and uh -huh. I got like run over. I was like 10, and I didn't skate again until mm -hmm. I was 13. I have a cousin, his name's Aaron. Uh huh. And this guy lived in Moore Park. Okay. And he's like, uh, he's Armenian too. Yeah. But he's like whitewashed Armenian. Yeah. He don't even barely speak Armenian. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. He, I've never met an Armenian that doesn't speak Armenian. Oh, this guy, he can barely <laughs> speak it, dude. He could say like a couple bad words, yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> So I go to this guy's house, yeah. and he has a fucking ramp in his garage, yeah, and he's no a shit. skateboarder. Yeah. And I'm like, I was so like intrigued by this person. Like, yeah. I'm st I still talk to him. Wow. He rolls around a little bit still too, but I was like, tripped on this character. Yeah, yeah. So I, 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 I wanted to try. I borrowed one from him for a weekend. Yeah. And then I gave it back, and then I got, I bought a used board from somebody. Uh -huh. And then I, my sister took me to a skate shop and got me like yeah. generic wheels and trucks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I just started right here, like. Every day practicing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's so like that. I got the thing. I started using it. Yeah, right here in this <laughs> yeah. in this parking Pretty lot. Pretty much. Man. Yeah, in this parking lot. <laughs> that's awesome, man. <laughs> so man, it it makes it even more special to do this interview yeah. here, man. That's awesome. And then you start for the first year. I didn't have skate friends. I had just like uh, Armenian friends that rollerbladed. Okay. And that it was Damn, shitty. That's it sucked. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. So Talk when I started making, like, my goal was to befriend the good skaters. Yeah. 
and by the end of the year, I was friends with them. They were calling me to go skate, so I was yeah. stoked to continually meet, meet, meet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I have like a thousand skater friends yeah. that are like still my good friends to this day. Yeah, yeah. It's a trip. That's it's a good dope, bond, man. you know? Yeah, yeah, you're right. And the brotherhood is like, everyone is from a different fucked up thing almost. Yeah. Like, they say like skateboarding, like somebody said like, is are skaters crazy? Is that why, like, or does it make them crazy? Or is, are they, they say, you're crazy, and then you get attracted to it, and you become crazier. Yeah, yeah. And the brotherhood is like, everyone is from a different thing. You're yeah. not like, you're like an army of like chameleons wow. almost. Yeah, yeah. It's a trip. Yeah, man. Everyone's dressed different. Everyone's a different race. Yeah. But it's we all share everything. Uh huh. Someone doesn't have it, you spot them. So yeah. You don't have it, you get spotted. Yeah. Your board breaks. Someone has one, they give you one. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's wow. a real com That's tight beautiful. community. Yeah. 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 That is, man. And it was more so back then when it was more underground. Yeah, sure. sure. Now it's like easier to get stuff, you yeah, know? Yeah. Now there's a lot of people give stuff away on Instagram. Uh -huh. How would you compare like the freedom that you feel skateboarding and to the, the freedom that you get just creating as an artist from painting? Okay, skateboarding is, is quick, you know? It, yeah. it flashes by you, you're going, you're like in crazy thought. Yeah. But you feel very comfortable. You like, you can all of a sudden not think about other shit that's going yeah. on in your life. You're breathing, you're doing like, you feel accomplished when you do something yeah. ballsy, you know? Yeah. Even yeah. though it passes by. Yeah. Unless you document it, it sticks. But with painting, it's almost the same. When you get in the zone, you almost like, the best way when you do the best stuff, you like forget that you're doing anything. Yeah. It's just like applying paint to this thing. Yeah. But you're not always even, thinking about the painting. Yeah. You're like in this fucking fog. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's like meditation. It's yeah, weird. Yeah. No, you're yeah. like zoned out. No, I get it. Absolutely when get you, it. Even when you skate, you do a trick, uh -huh. like the world goes quiet. Yeah. Like with painting, uh, it's the same thing. Yeah. It's a, a longer experience. All right, so how would you describe your style? Your style of painting? I just, yeah. I just like think of something that I think is nice or funny and I just do it. Yeah. And if I don't like it, I'll go over it. If I like it, I'll leave it alone. Sometimes I put it away. Yeah. I try really, like, I don't try hard. I don't want to be known to have a style. Yeah, yeah. I want to be, I want to do everything. Yeah, I yeah. don't want to fuck, I don't want to do 10 of the same shit. Sure, yeah. Oh, this is this series. This yeah. is this period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I might say that I was, like, depressed for a month and I'd made these paintings. Yeah. I was really happy I made these, but yeah. it doesn't have anything to do with fucking yeah. the, the subject. Yeah. It could be anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that going through uh, going through your Instagram, it's like you said, there's no series you can put together. It's yeah. just whatever you were thinking. That's what came out, man. That's awesome. Okay. Or do it the same way. Yeah. I could draw a flower one way and one the other way. Uh -huh. What's the, well, why not? Yeah, yeah. It's like skating. I could do a kickflip or I could maybe like do like a 180 or yeah. like go skate a ramp or go skate a ditch. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. completely different from another thing. You yeah, know? yeah. But at the end of the day, it's just still skateboarding yeah. and it's still just painting. Yeah, yeah. But if it, it has to have a spark to stick out, sure. you know? Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. Visually, I like a lot of shit, you know? And then some shit, like we were talking about Basquiat, it's like, yeah. you go look at it in person, it's fucking scary stuff, yeah, dude. Yeah, like, uh -huh, yeah. You can tell the, the fucking the pain that dude went through, yeah. the anguish and yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Which I, I like too, because there's someone told me there's uh, sadness and there's sadness and beauty. Yeah, Which yeah, there is, right? There is, there, especially when you're displaying that on a canvas. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like you're taking everything inside of you and putting it out there for the world to see. You know, totally. What I mean? yeah. and it's fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, Boscat. If you've never seen one, and you get a chance to see a Boscat in person. Absolutely, do it, man. It, it'll change your life. Why? Oh, absolutely. My friend Ario does these airbrush pieces. Uh huh. And they're like, man, you look at them and you feel that like you're there. It's they're scary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like in twilight. And, yeah. And they're like landscape pieces and have like, they always have most of the time a UFO in it. Oh, okay. So it's like it has that like yeah. chill factor yeah, to it. Yeah, you know? yeah. Which is cool. Or I want to know if do you have a community just amongst yourself or with a uh, like-minded artists, other artists that you can. I mean, not even like like somebody who does it as much as me. Yeah. Anybody uh -huh. else. Um, because it can I, be lonely being an artist, yeah. man. Yeah. I just have, most of my friends are skaters. Yeah. And some of them are doing great with their art. Yeah. So those friends I talk to are about the most. Okay. With most, no, I don't really speak about it that yeah. much. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. 
And it's half and half when you go to these openings. Some people like you and some people just don't like you. Like, yeah. <laughs> for showing these small ones. Yeah. You know? No, yeah. No, I love it, man. I, that, I, that's what, like I said, I remembered you from, just from the first time we met. Just because of how many pieces you had. Yeah. And, and like, you were just fucking fearless, man. We were outside of a show yeah. and you were like, hey, you know, I'm an artist too. Come check out my shit. Yeah, right? Which not? I thought was dope. Yeah. Absolutely. How else am I going to get in there? <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Because you know what? Because, I mean, all of those people at those shows, they're not buying any of the art that's inside Usually not. They're drinking the yeah. free drinks. Absolutely. Most of them don't even care about what's going on there. It's yeah. more of a vibe in the scene. You know what I mean? Like, I noticed that it depends on where you are. You know what I mean? Like, I could go to a show in L.A. and it's much different, you know? Yeah. I can go to a show in, like, West Hollywood, you know, uh, or even somewhere on the west side, and it's more about the event than it is about the artists and their art, you know what Oh, I mean? yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like a, it's like the it thing to go to, yeah. for sure. Yeah, uh-huh. It's used for entertainment. Yeah. But the artists didn't, they, they did it, like, for the other things, too, but it is, like, yeah. enjoyable to, to actually have time to sit and look at the piece for a yeah. while. Yeah. Instead uh -huh. of just look at each other and yeah. dress and look at my dress and yeah. look at my shoes. Yeah. And, man, yeah. Man. The last show I went to was exactly like that. Like I, I it was I'm not I won't name the gallery, but I was in West Hollywood and I noticed I was the only one, like me and like three other people looking at the art. Crazy. Everyone else in there, they're just talking, they're taking pictures, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's but I mean, I'm, I'm glad the artists got some people to come out to come check totally, the shit out. Yeah, the yeah. gallery, the owners, you know, that's great. But um, yeah, I do it just because I when, the, when you put a show together, yeah. it's so exciting. Yeah, yeah. To see all of it in one room. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't happen often. Yeah, you know? you're right. Oh yeah. So uh, you know, I want to talk about that because you've had some shows, group shows, mm -hmm. solo shows. Yeah, a couple solos. Um, are you having a, or thinking about maybe yeah. creating another show anytime soon? I'm. I'm just waiting. For one gallery to come and look at stuff in person. Yeah. But if they don't, I'll just do it, find a place and do it my my own. You know. Mm hmm. Because mm -hmm. I'll I just need a place. I don't really even care to go through a gallery, but I do bug them. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. No, you yeah. should. You absolutely should. Oh, and yes, people, we we're we're day drinking outside. Don't sh don't say anything. All right. It's Sunday. We're having a nice time. We're under the sun. It's beautiful, man. What can you do? Such is life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, what inspires you to create? Is it maybe like pop culture, the environment that you're in, I or like just the, whatever? I comes like the to loneliness. Yeah. yeah, I like to be alone uh -huh. and make it, and then just trip off it later. Yeah, yeah. I like the I like the experience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And whatever comes out, comes out. Yeah. I'll, I'll either like it in short, or I or, or I won't. Yeah, yeah. But the, the experience of like being alone and listening to music yeah. and zoning out and painting is what, what I, why I do it, yeah. you know? Yeah, that's dope, man. And, I, and then you, whether you like it or not, like you want to make it good so you, you sell it, you make yeah. money from it. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't want to get a job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I made it my job. Yeah, no, I dig <laughs> so it, I man. So I could pick the ride, you know? Yeah, go yeah. Go skate or go, go yeah. on a trip. Yeah, no, absolutely. Okay, I want to ask you about just being an Armenian artist, right? Because I actually, I know what, I don't know her personally. Yeah. But there's this artist, oh, I forget her name, but she's got a, she used to have a gallery here in Glendale and she moved it to like around the West Hollywood area. It's called the Bash Gallery. Really, really dope gallery. Really? It's still really there? Nice. It's still there, actually. Crazy. Maybe, Armenian lady runs it? Yeah, yeah, it's her gallery. It's Crazy. named after her, actually. I think her last name is like Bashin or something mm. like that. Um, There's one in Glendale. It's called Tufankian Gallery. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. No, I, I know exactly Greg what you're and talking Caroline about. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a nice gallery uh -huh. too. But what does it mean to you to be an Armenian artist, where maybe no one might know, people might not know even one Armenian artist, man? Is, is that important to you? A lot of Armenian artists, when I look at their work, mm. they, their work looks like Armenian paintings. Uh, I don't know why. Okay. But I think they, they talk about it a lot more because of the travel from getting there. The struggle has been always difficult for Armenians yeah. because of the genocide and, and like the exile, getting kicked out of your country yeah. and keep moving and moving. But I've never thought of myself <clears throat> as a skateboarder or, a, or an artist as, as like 
that I'm Armenian. I just thought that I make the art. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, because yeah. there's an Armenian mechanic, and there's also sure. an, there's also like a fucking German mechanic. Yeah, you know? yeah. Uh -huh. Whatever you are, they, yeah. they still do it. Yeah. Uh huh. <clears throat> In Africa, like a lot of Basquiat's pieces, like yeah. he's influenced by that because oh, he yeah. went to visit. Uh huh. But I've never. Maybe it comes out of things that I've seen from where I was. Yeah. But I don't try to make it be about my culture. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh huh. But I represent my culture Absolutely. heavy, you know? Absolutely. Because I like cooking and yeah. I like the food and yeah. I like getting together. Yeah. <clears throat> but making it because of my ethnicity, I don't yeah. think so. Yeah. Because uh -huh. everybody does it everywhere. Yeah. You know? Yeah. If I meet a skateboarder from fucking Japan, yeah. I'm going to say, what, what's up? Like, yeah. let's go skate. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Even Doesn't though you matter. might not speak it, I don't speak yours, but. I know that we could go eat sushi somewhere yeah, after and yeah. drink a beer. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> and man. sign language, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dope, man. Absolutely, man. No, because I, um, like, I want to say this, right? So I had never really, I don't think I'd met anyone Armenian until I got to high school. I mean, I'm sure I oh, did. Oh, yeah, a lot of people, yeah. yeah. It's a tiny country. Yeah, yeah. uh-huh. I'm sure I did, but, you know, I, I, I couldn't have known then, right? So... I went to high school in Burbank, right? I lived in LA, but yeah. my dad's like, all right, you're not going to any of these schools. Yeah. I went to Catholic school in Burbank. Duh. What is it called? Providence. Providence. I uh -huh. think I've, I've heard of that yeah. school before. Uh, so that was the first time that I ever met the, uh, anyone Armenian, right? Yeah. Uh, I'll never forget. <laughs> you probably tripped out. <laughs> yeah, man. All right. So it's, it's freshman orientation day, right? Yeah. So we usually wear uniforms, but this time it's, you know, you, you wear whatever you want. Yeah, free. free so I see there. like 10 guys. All with Adidas jumpsuit, Adidas pants. Yeah, maybe, shiny, yeah, maybe a shiny shoe, yeah, like man. a dress shoe with yeah. the Adidas thing. Maybe so a this, beret. Yeah. So this was like 1999, right? Yeah. So, so I'm thinking like, oh man, like I gotta, like I gotta figure out what this is, man. I like this shit. I yeah. gotta see what's going on with these people, man. And, um, and like I said, I worked in Glendale for yeah. for a few years. All the Stogers. Yeah, man. And it's a it's a, a very uh, rich. Very uh, proud, you know, yeah. ethnicity, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, they don't fuck around. Yeah, man. So I've They been, fuck around the uh, most, actually, but they just... Yeah. I don't know, they're different species, I guess. Uh -huh. They're just funny. Yeah, yeah, man. And it's something, I don't know, that I could kind of relate to, like when you talk about the struggle, getting the, the genocide, yeah. getting kicked out of your country, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's absolutely insane. And for me, you know, just on the outside looking in, you know what I mean? Like, people... <laughs> The most famous Armenian amongst non-Armenians, probably Kim Kardashian. You know what totally, I mean? and she's only half. Yeah, and she's yeah. only yeah. And so, I wanted to find an Armenian artist to sort of to to show that okay, like we are more than just that. You know, there's totally, just so much yeah. more to the culture that, that people know. Yeah, man. A lot of music heads, like yeah. a lot of uh huh. Yeah, a lot of ch uh, crazy chess players. Mm -hmm. Which I play mm -hmm. chess too. Chess is. Like a art, but it's like a like art of war. Yeah, you know? yeah, uh huh, yeah. Thinking man's game, you know. And they come from a different, they come from a struggle, so they're always like they got their guard up, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Always, if they don't know you, they're always gonna like sniff you out. Yeah, and they're, and yeah. they're ready, you know. Uh huh. Usually. Yeah. Uh huh. So that's what I like too, man. You know, I. They might look like you, you don't see them smiling. Yeah. But, well, once you say hi, you see them yes, light up. Absolutely. Like, All right, cool. And yeah. That that is my experience. Yeah. You say that popular culture because i mean I, I do see a little bit of it in your art um does that influence some of your creations the way you paint i'll tell you like when i moved to america i, I was a soccer player yeah. i just wanted to play soccer uh -huh. but in the, on the playground it didn't exist i was like what this what is yeah, this yeah kickball like, what do you kick the ball like, what do you run i didn't know where yeah, to run you yeah. know <laughs> and then it wasn't until i seen fucking michael jordan on tv yeah man dunking on fools yeah then I became like a fucking basketball head, yeah, you know, yeah. fanatic. Yeah. So like, I, that's why I paint a lot of basketball yeah. scenes, you know. Uh -huh. Jordan especially, yeah. you know. Yeah. Or like, I got a D Brown, like no look yeah, dunk. Like, D I Brown. remember seeing that at the dunk contest I and guess. being like, oh, he's like pumping his shoes. <laughs> yeah, it's like a fucking thing, you know. This guy's like, it's innovative. Yeah. It's fucking new. Yeah. Yeah. And then like, what comes even with that? Like, I yeah, I because when you're a kid, I I didn't have that much money. Yeah. I like window shopping, you know. Yeah. And then you go to see like, oh, the new Jordans, you know, you don't even, they don't even, you don't hear it from social media yeah. or you just go and see this thing. You're yeah. like blown away by yeah. how trippy, that's a piece of art, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. So it was like fucking Michael Jordan yeah. like, doing fucked up shit and dunk contests. Yeah, yeah, man. That got me hyped on basketball. That's why I, I, was, yeah. I was, 
I have drawings of him when I was a kid, yeah. like eight, nine year old. Nah, yeah, man. Uh, so popular like... culture from the 90s more so than now. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah, 90s and twos. But now, I don't know what comes out now that I, I'm always finding new music more okay. now. Yeah. But it might not be popular. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what's popular culture now? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, because like it's... Like a dunk colorway. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I like the weird yeah. shit. Yeah. Like you've never seen before. Yeah, uh-huh. It's, you know, like, like back Not in the day. Not dissing dunks, by the way. I yeah. love dunks. Yeah. And I love dunk <laughs> highs to skate in. Yeah. It's one of my favorite shoes. Uh-huh. But like you don't see... Uh, what's... Adidas was putting out trippy shoes, right? Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Recently, uh, the skater Gino Iannucci put out this fucking shoe, which is this regular Samba, yeah, but yeah, he also okay, came yeah. out with a high-top boxing uh, boot. Of this, you, okay. Because he likes jump roping. Yeah, yeah. You know? That, to me, is, like, new. Yeah. So I guess it does, in a way. Yeah, yeah, it just, yeah, it depends on how you and see it. And then things always, like, recycle, too. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, as I noticed that 90s fashion came back into play, man. Heavily. I'm happy about that. Yeah. It's more comfortable yeah. for me to skate yeah. in. It's funny. So my oldest daughter, she's 14. And um, she always, you know, she likes to crack on me being old. Yeah. <laughs> and, so, yeah, old yeah. <laughs> and so I tell you, yeah, I, I was kind of young when, you know, when she was born. But um, I was telling her, you, you dress like, uh, you know, the kids dress like when like I was your day. age. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean old? You're wearing that old person's yeah. clothes. You know? <laughs> but it, it's funny because now I would say, you know, at least in the 90s, you know, when something was, was popular, a lot of it was word of mouth. I mean, we had, totally. it was just, you mixtapes, Mixtapes, mix tapes, magazines, TV, that's yep. it. But now it's, when something is popular now, it almost feels forced. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's like they're, they're shoving it down they your throat. They push it for money. Absolutely. It's all for Absolutely. the bucks. Absolutely. Yeah. Especially when we talk about music, you know what I mean? I, I would say the last 10 years, there's been so many musicians that have come and gone so quick. Yeah. Like, uh, like One Hit Wonders. In, in the 90s, you had it too, but... The ones that were good stuck around. Totally. You know, nowadays, you've got guys with, I would say, I don't want to say no talent, but less, less talent than the people that came before them who stick around a little longer yeah. than they should. You know what I mean? It's yeah. Because they have these machi machines behind them. Yeah. It's, everything is immediate. Yeah. It's yes. One in, it's yes. like, it's, you see it one day, it's gone the next. Yeah. There's a, no, there's a thousand coming the yeah. next day. Yeah, exactly. Even with skate videos, it's like Instagram is... I'd rather watch a full-length video, yeah. you know, yeah. than an Instagram clip. Yeah. I still do it, but back yeah. then, you weren't distracted by this box that we stare at. This yeah. fucking, like, every day. Yeah. Or, you're like, call your friend on the phone. What up? Let's meet up. What are we going to do? We're going to go mm -hmm. walk around. We're going to go, like, speak to, like, girls in person. Yeah. Instead yeah. of, like, shopping for yeah. a wife on yeah. the phone. Like. <laughs> <laughs> that to me is the craziest yeah. thing, man. Like I still all of it. It's like where's the adventure? There's no interaction, yeah. man. Like, where is it where you don't know what's gonna happen? Exactly, that night? exactly, you know? yeah. exactly. Yo, that yeah. That, see, that's you know, I, I tell my daughter, I say, <laughs> and if you're younger, I, I apologize, but I say the '90s was the last great decade, man. Totally, it was. It was before yeah. the internet took over, yeah. before social 100. media. You know, you could still be yourself. Kids went outside to go play. Yep. Kids went outside to go skate. You know totally, I mean? hundred. Yeah, yeah, man. Opscotch pattern i saw yeah. the other day it was like worn out i was like i took a picture i was like where do you see anybody playing a hopscotch yeah, where, yeah. Are they, where are the kids yeah. the only thing you see is babies with their moms yeah but you'll never see like eight-year-olds or 11-year-olds like in a group like they're yeah. a gang You're yeah like, oh, these little kids are yeah kind of sketchy yeah you know? man <laughs> that's absolutely right, rocks at you man. yeah <laughs> it's crazy because they all yeah. get home to you know play video like i remember as a kid right so i went to elementary school in santa monica and um, <laughs> this is a Catholic school, but we, you know, sometimes on Fridays, we'd go, we'd go to 7-Eleven. We would, <laughs> we would rob the 7-Eleven for yeah. like candies and snacks, you know what I mean? Yeah, I was a thief too a little yeah. bit. <laughs> and then we'd go ahead to the prom and I'd go watch a movie, you know what I mean? Yeah. But you don't see that now, man. Like, it's, no. it's not the same. It's not the same. Even if you see a group of kids, half of them are looking at their phone. Totally. Man, it's insane. And this is why, like, I... Um, they want to wipe out the humanity. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. They want to control everybody. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. If you don't let a boy become a man, he's going to remain a boy. Yeah. And then he's controlled. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Okay. So as far as art goes and maybe trying to get shows and talk to galleries, this might not even apply to you, right? Because, I mean, you're definitely your own person, right? Yeah. But... Have you ever experienced any, you know, gatekeeping like 
it's kind of like, oh, you have to know a certain person, you have to get in with a certain crowd in order to be seen. Probably, yeah, yeah. of course. Because they always want to ask, like, did you study it? How do you, why do you do it? What, like, yeah. you just, I just do it, you know? They yeah. always want to know, like, who taught you? Or why do you, why do you choose to do it this way? Or you should do this. Uh -huh. It's like, if I should do it, you're giving me advice on my art, like, yeah. then why don't you just make yeah. it the way you, yeah. you think it should be done, exactly. you know? Yeah. Uh -huh. And what, is it, what does it have to do with me making it yeah. if you're at, giving me advice? Absolutely. So I think art shouldn't be given advice to you. I think it should yeah. be free, you yeah. know? Yeah, uh -huh. I agree. And as far as gatekeeping, I don't know. Yeah, of course it is like that. It's like that in anything, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. If they like you, they like you. Yeah. If they don't, they don't. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but I feel like, yeah, more, more galleries. Well, you know, the ones that I'm familiar with, I feel like, uh, like I've never met, I mean, until now, like a, a bad gallery owner, right? Like they're usually pretty cool. A lot of the LA galleries yeah. are local artists. You they know don't like I mean? me showing like sometimes inside the gallery, yeah. which is fine. Some yeah. some people welcome it. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> like when I went to see a, a friend show at Henry's gallery, because okay. his Chinatown studio is also a gallery. Yeah. They just said like, oh yeah, go talk to this kid. Like yeah. he has some work. Yeah. They were like telling people to go look yeah. at my shit. Stop. Instead of like being like, oh, like you can't do that. Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah. Like, it's like almost like inviting, if I had a birthday party, let's say, and I invite 30 of my friends. Yeah. And I go up to them like, are you guys not talking about me? It's my birthday. Yeah. It has to be about me. Yeah. Like, no, yeah. I invite people to my birthday so everybody has fun. You yeah. Know? Yeah. What is it that, that I'm selling these small ones for 20 bucks that's going to take yeah. away from this, like, exactly. giant show? Exactly. Yeah. And, and I most try not to be a dick about it. Yeah. I try to be low key. Sure. You know? Yeah. But, and most of the time the shows, I mean, if it's a good gallery. A uh, good artist show sells out before the the opening Usually, even happens. Yeah. You know, so yeah, I think that I think that's dope, man. It yeah, it takes nothing away from the artist that's showing, because everyone is there for them, anyways. You know, that's the, the reason they're shit. there. Yeah, uh -huh. and that's the thing. I I, I almost don't want to, like, if if I blew up, and yeah. then. Then my art wouldn't be for the people. It would be mm, yeah. for these other people that yeah. are the money collectors. Yeah, yeah, man. And, the, and, and what would I say to them? Like, oh, you can't afford. You, I can't. Yeah. I can't sell you this anymore. Yeah. I don't want to be that way. Yeah. You know, I yeah. have to find a good balance. Yeah. Where I could just be like, yeah, I still have these for this. You yeah. Know? Uh huh. Yeah. But there's all these rules about out, like doing too much and putting yeah. stuff out. Like, yeah. There's all these games to play. Yeah. To like keep your shit sure. on par, like yeah. with what they want. Absolutely. It's not what I want. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But, such is life. Yeah, I try it, to keep a good balance. Yeah, that's what I liked people. about you. Yeah, yeah, that's what I liked about you when I met you because you had so much stuff, you know, and it was affordable. You know, mm -hmm. like a lot of people would like to collect art, but you, you know, you find an artist that you like, you see a piece that you like, and it's just out of your price range. I yeah. mean, and I understand. Like, I feel artists should get paid. They should charge what they feel is right. You know what I mean? Yeah. But to have something also for the people, you know what I mean? Yeah. That, that it means something. It really does. Okay. All right, so. Salute, brother. Yes, sir. This is a nice interview. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. Thank you for showing up, man. I love it. <laughs> All right. All right, so if you, ah, man, this, this is a crazy question for oh. you, man, but if you had to have a different job besides being an artist, what would you do? A job. <laughs> like, yeah. like so, so none of the no music counts. Like nothing can, like nothing, nothing artistic. Counts. Nothing artistic. Nothing art. To me, almost everything is. But let's see, what is it? I mean, a chef is also artistic, right? Ah, uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's but like yeah, culinary okay. arts, yeah. they call it. Yeah, and that's still creating too. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I've worked different jobs. I had fun. Doing electric work, I would oh, do. Sure. I would do. I was an electrician's assistant. Yeah. And we would do Rite Aid from the ground up. Oh no shit. So okay. gnarly shit. Yeah, yeah. That was fulfilling because it made me feel like, like a like tough. Yeah. And I got built like pretty good because yeah. I was working. Yeah, yeah. But the struggle of it is not as fulfilling. So I I can't say what job I would do. I would probably like. I don't know. I can't think of anything. Yeah, man, a true artist, my friend. Yeah, like it's, there's, there's no way to get out of this. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> awesome, man. Okay, if you could go somewhere, anywhere in the world, just to be inspired to create, where would you go? I always wanted to just go to France. Yeah. Go to man. the south of France. Yeah. And, like get lost in a city, drinking. Yeah. And have a, and, and have a like a, 
whatever, not the biggest loft, yeah. but just to get lost in yeah. like darkness, not yeah. like feeling dark, but yeah. like twilight, like sure. the weather, yeah, you know? Man. I love sunsets. Yeah. And like being like somewhere like very quiet. Yeah. I would love to just go to France. Yeah, yeah. Bordeaux. Yeah, yeah, man. Even the big city, Paris. Yeah. I've never been. Yeah, yeah. So I'm yeah. trying to save some bucks to yeah. go. That's dope, man. Japan, yeah. I would love to go. Yeah. Anywhere countryside. Yeah. That's, yeah. I don't know, anywhere almost. I'll yeah. go anywhere. Yeah. So other than than your dad, you're, you're pretty much a self-taught artist. So did you take Holy. any classes? or? Any... I took, <clears throat> there's a community college here. Sure. I took a painting class and then I didn't do the assignment. Yeah. I drew, I drew a different picture. Yeah. <clears throat> the teacher said, like, I just stopped listening to her and I took another one and yeah. I never did the assignments. And then they just said, like, you don't have to even come to the class. Yeah. You can come on these days. Yeah. Nobody's here. Yeah. Oh, so, okay. <clears throat> oh, that's dope. So I just go. Yeah. And I just start painting on my own, I'll yeah. by myself, listening yeah. to music in the, in the at GCC. Yeah. I would do it at home a little bit, but. And then there was this old dude there that, I don't know, he didn't even take the classes there. Yeah. He said, Joe, like, he opened up cabinets. He's like, it's all this paint. He's like, yeah. nobody used any of this shit. You have everything. Oh, okay. So I, I use it, you yeah, know? I yeah, use yeah. that shit. And then I, from then, I just did it on for myself. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, and I took photography classes there. And I, maybe I passed one with a C. <laughs> but I was always like yeah. not doing, I would just do it and take it yeah. and not turn things in. Yeah. Or I would turn it in bad and get yeah. an F. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man See, you know i understand that man especially when you're a creative yeah when someone is telling you what to do but in your head you're thinking uh, let me do it this way let me do it my yeah. way you know what i mean it's better it's going to be better for me this way totally yeah man <laughs> in high school it was art classes too i would say but like doing different like projects okay it wasn't very much painting yeah i thought i heard a skateboard maybe not Maybe it was my imagination. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> We're back here, man. Yeah. You're on fucking skating ground, bro. Oh, trip out on that. <laughs> awesome, man. All right. Is there any advice you'd give to an up-and-coming artist that you wish someone would have told you when you were younger? Not really. No? Because I didn't think about it. Mm -hmm. I just did it, kind of. Mm. I didn't start thinking about it until like maybe five years ago and I was getting like, we lived in Glendale, I grew up here Yeah. and the rent was going up, going yeah, up, man. my house got bought out Yeah. so we had to move Yeah. and then I was like, I love living here, I yeah. don't want to move Yeah. and then I was like, what am I going to do, you know, I can't like, and then I started to think I could just, now I'll just, because I have to, I'll just start making them and selling them. Yeah. Yeah. And I started doing it more and more and more because I've been painting with oils since I was 20. Okay. But it wasn't, I would always do stuff, but it wasn't very super consistent until I was like 35 where I started to like think I'm going to sell these things to, yeah. to survive. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh-huh. Because I don't want, I don't, I mean, now I live in a nice house, but it's in Palmdale, but yeah. I still want to like. Yeah get my gem back to move yeah. to the city of jewels. Yeah, man. Yeah. City. <laughs> yes, it is, man. <laughs> All right. So that's that's the goal then. People to are going to watch this. They're going to be like, wow, Glendale is probably like, it is beautiful. <laughs> it is. But you have to know where to go. Absolutely. You know, like anywhere else. Yeah, man. That's true. I mean, look where we are now. No one's bothering us. Yeah. We're having a nice yeah. time. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. Just in the parking lot, mm -hmm. man. It's beautiful. <laughs> Who are the artists <clears throat> that inspire you? All over. Yeah. All over. Yeah, yeah. But if I were to say my favorite, one of my favorites is an English painter named Turner. Okay. He does like Lance, he does, they call him like, he's the master of like painting light, like sunsets. Okay. Yeah. And I love fucking uh, Turner. I like the old stuff. Yeah. I like the 80s stuff. I like graffiti. I'm not a graffiti head. Yeah. But I have good graffiti friends, you know? Yeah. Like my friend Ricks is amazing. Like, uh -huh. skate, shout out Skate All Cities. And it comes from graffiti, colors, comes from like skateboard graphics, cartoons. Yeah. And then you start learning about like people who did, and you go start going to museums and you see people like fucking, I mean, Henry Taylor is newish, yeah. but I, I love his work. I love Basquiat's work. I love fucking my friend's works. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like de Kooning, you know? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, old, yeah. Old, like, 
I like Arshia Gorky, which yeah. is Armenian artist. Okay. It's very different, you know? Yeah. Lots well, of coining at the broad, too, man. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh -huh. I don't really, I don't know. But I like people who just, like, I feel them, you know? Like, mm -hmm. I, I like I like meeting them or, or like, watching a documentary or, or reading an interview about them and then be like, oh, I, I like, relate to that, like, because I, I feel like that, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. I feel like... It, it shows in your art when it's like raw yeah and it's not made to be a fucking like a, t a tabloid yeah you know like yeah is tabloid a word yeah yeah you yeah. know it's not made to like it's just made from this guy's like yeah. feelings yeah. you know uh -huh. what he felt yeah so whoever could sh like shines through like that you yeah. know yeah. i get hyped on people yeah. like that the most yeah man so you dj too man i want to yeah. talk about music for a little bit man um because music is another art form where you can be as creative as you want. You yeah, know what I mean? totally. So, it doesn't stop you. Yeah. So, so how would you say that music... Do you need a refill? Uh, yeah, I'll take another one. Might as well. Why not? Um, so, how would, you, <laughs> how would you say that music compares to art as far as the art form letting you be who you are? Yeah. Maybe music is the art just because it's your ears. Yeah. But then anything you ever, any any like time that you remember like hanging out with friends or going on a trip or yeah. like hanging out with a certain girl yeah. that made you feel stoked. Yeah, man. Like music always plays yeah. in those eras and then you like keep them with you in yeah. a way. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, because yeah. they're feelings. Yeah. So they come from feelings. So I like with music, I like showing it like that, like my true, like music to me is probably the most emotional thing that I do, yeah, 100. Yeah, yeah. Because I fucking, my heart beats crazy because I yeah. know what I, I know that what I'm putting out, yeah. I have some mixes, but even live that I've done, yeah. I know it's dope because yeah. it makes me like yeah. break down a little yeah, bit, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah. It's kind of heavy. Yeah. Music is a really heavy one. Yeah. Especially if you've gone through like a lot of crazy sh I'm not saying I'm, everybody goes through stuff. Sure. I'm not anybody's like, Anybody goes through, but everybody has these these, these songs yeah. that they like go through, and yeah. they, they either they get sad or they get happy, but yeah. they have a memory of their life. From yeah, it, yeah, it's yeah. Like a bank. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's funny you say that. All right, so the man behind the camera right now is my nephew. All right, uh, sh shout out, Anthony. What up? Dad. All right, so his, cool. his his dad, my brother, is DJ, and there were certain songs that I remember riding around in his car as a kid. And the feeling that I had, like, my, my older brother is my hero, man. Like, like I, I love him very much. But I still remember, this is why I'm such a big Tribe Called Quest fan. Yep. Because it, I remember riding around and, and listening to a, a bunch of Tribe Called Quest with my brother. And like you said, music, sometimes, you know, it, it reminds you of a, a certain time in your life, a certain feeling you had when you first heard yeah. it, you know what I mean? And uh, my older brother was probably the first one to really put that like in my head, you know what I mean? And um, Yeah, like come with me. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh -huh. Let's go on an adventure. Yeah. And, and I'm not You're sure. Help me out. I, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> and I don't know if he remembers, but I I will always remember those days. So who are your musical inspirations, man? Who would you say? I Okay. So I started listening to music from watching a lot of skate videos. Yeah. So what's in skate videos? Yeah. A lot of hip hop. Yeah. And yeah. a lot of like sometimes alternative music yeah. and then you you start skating and then you, you want to be like oh like it's a it's a you will have to listen to rock yeah like rock yeah uh -huh. so it's like 90s shit but then my friends i never raved yeah but my all my skater friends they started raving uh -huh. so whenever they were like, we were going skating in their yeah. car they would be bumping like house music yeah. on tape okay so i love house music yeah. and i love 90s and i love soundscape music okay yeah and experimental sounds yeah, yeah. Just something that could take you away a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh -huh. Anything that could, or, and then dancing, of course. I love course. to dance, yeah. yeah. yeah uh -huh. So all those things into one is yeah. like what, yeah, it's like skate videos, yeah. which is a lot of different kinds of music, and yeah. then my friends raving. Yeah, yeah. And then uh -huh. le learning about house and techno yeah. Yeah. and yeah. stuff like that. Uh-huh. Early 90s, I was just watching music videos. Yeah. I yeah, didn't man. own music. Yeah, uh-huh. And then I started collecting music later, like yeah. when I was just like, 19. Yeah. yeah, I got I got into music much later. Yeah, but I got into it heavily. I had like a uh -huh. Mac, then I got a record player. I started collecting records. Yeah, yeah. Just because I liked chilling and listening to a yeah. record. Yeah. So and then I got turntables 
only like three or three years ago. Uh -huh. Before that, I was taking my records to other people's turntables. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I was, oh, I was every time they said, Joe, you could come spin, I would yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, And man. then the government gave me, I don't know, should I, put, should I say that? Yeah, go ahead. The government bro. gave me money because the galleries were closed. <laughs> oh, okay. I, said, I can't go to the galleries, yeah. so I was able to afford my own. Sure. Yeah. Oh, that's dope. Okay. Awesome, man. <laughs> I love it. I love free government money, yeah. right? <laughs> All right, I want to ask you this, man, because you have so much art. Like, if you just sit down and you're in your own space, how many pieces can you create in, like, in one session? Do you just do one at a time? The small ones? Yeah. just. I could go, like, 15 to 20 in one night. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, man. And That's then insane. bigger ones, like, sometimes I work on a few, but sometimes I'll finish one quickly and then, yeah. and then just chill. And then, yeah. But the small ones I could rifle off yeah, faster. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Do you have to be in like a certain mindset to create? Like, or do you say, okay, I'm gonna set aside this time, I'm going to paint? Or is it that, all right, um, whenever it comes to me, I'm going to create? Usually I sit down, yeah. I, I have to organize, I have to prepare. Uh -huh. That's the most important thing. When I prepare, I just make the space, you yeah. know? I have everything ready. But not even to paint, yeah. just to kick it. Oh, okay, yeah. So I just kick it, yeah. and if I feel like it, I do. If I don't, I, I'll start dancing. Yeah. And I'll yeah. forget about painting. Yeah. Then I'll be like, ah, maybe I'll paint something yeah. dumb. Yeah. And then from that, it'll like rifle into yeah. like a lot. Yeah. It's yeah. a weird thing. Yeah. No, that's yeah. Dumb, you have man. to almost like, I, I don't know. I don't want to call it tricking yourself into it because uh -huh. you want to do it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And you want to like. Sometimes it's scary to start. Yeah. But like you just say, who cares? Yeah, you know. Yeah, like yeah. sometimes you're skating. It's like I'll try this. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll take a shit. I could eat shit on the floor. Yeah, you know, real quick. yeah, yeah. Warm myself up. You yeah, know? <laughs> draw something bad. You know, like but draw something have, dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you have to get it started. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah, man. you just start like that. Yeah. You just start right. Sometimes I just make a, like a to-do list. Yeah. And then I add it to the painting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Or I go over it. All right. I just play with it. Like, yeah. It's like a, I'm like a kid almost. Yeah, man. Yeah. But, but when things I, I like specifically like, oh, I, I want to do this, yeah. I get so excited. Like I'll do that, like I'll yeah. finish it quick. Yeah. yeah like yeah, right yeah. away I'll get into it, I'll prepare everything and yeah. like, I'll, I'll be on a mission, you yeah. know? Like don't talk to me. Like, yeah. Not don't talk to me, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but like I just like, I you need know, your I time, man. Close, yeah. I close it off, yeah. you know? Yeah. I say I'm busy. You, you know? have to. Yeah. 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 So people will try to infiltrate your space, man, when you're trying to get shit done, man. I. I I absolutely agree. Sometimes you just have to, like you said, not completely cl cl close yourself off, but yeah. you need time to your, for yourself, man. You but I do it do so it. many different ways. Yeah. Sometimes I'll bring out like my canvas into like the backyard. My family's like to smoke uh -huh. a lot, yeah. and have drinks and coffees and, and, and talk and mm -hmm. conversate. Mm -hmm. I just kick it next to them and like not even care and just yeah. paint. And I'll look yeah. at it later and I'll really like it. Yeah, yeah. It go. It's always different. Yeah, almost. Yeah. But the ones that I'm like. On a mission to do, yeah. like I make it a point to like go to work. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So how would you say? Um, uh, this mm. is kind of a mm. open-ended question, but um, do you think that your your family is proud of you? Probably. Yeah. 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 I try. I try to. I try to make them proud. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I try. You know. That's what they want me are. to hang out with them more. Yeah. Because I'm like always doing. Yeah. stuff you know yeah. like i like to be alone yeah they want me to hang out more but i try to have like a day or two at the house where i cook yeah and yeah. i kick it but they always want to hang out with more. me more yeah yeah yeah, uh -huh. yeah. i'm sure even though they know that like what i do is crazy yeah yeah, for yeah. Sure. but that but that's see that's a good thing though like they they know like what you have to do to work what you have to do to create and they respect yeah it. i have to yeah. tell them all the time like yeah. like if i came to everyone's like get together every weekend what would what would get done? Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. Nothing would get done. Yeah, uh -huh. I would have like nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're right, man. And that is, um, you know, if I can say this, that is very, uh, from from what I've experienced, our meetings are very family oriented. Brutally, man. yeah, yeah like, tight. Yeah, very Crazy. tight. Yeah, man. It's, it, it's beautiful, but but like you said, for an artist like yourself that needs mm -hmm. alone time. It could probably get a little yeah, bit. Yeah, uh, that. Yeah, that's the only yeah. thing. Like, if you have, it's better to have your own studio. I work from my garage. It's a nice, big, big yeah. car garage. Yeah. But I need to like. I usually paint at night. I paint when it's very quiet. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. music. I always like listen to music. Yeah. Yeah, you need the, you need that for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. With skating, you have it more. 
because you're not even though you're with people yeah you're in a way just kind of always staring at down that you're bored and like yeah. doing shit yeah and then yeah. you look up or somebody look you, yeah. you cheer each other on yeah yeah it's a good community but it's, yeah. they're different in, in that way uh -huh. like yeah, skating man. alone is fun too actually yeah. yeah but it's a different thing yeah Okay, as far as skating, because I saw on your Instagram you've got a couple of decks painted, right? Yeah. Have you ever thought about just starting your own uh, skateboard? I mean, I'm not, I'm not even company, but I, I kind of tried. I kind of tried that. Yeah. But I wasn't like painting as much and different stuff. Mm hmm. But that became too much of like a production, you know? I see. Yeah. So it took yeah. away from like wanting to do all kinds of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. And even the the boards I was painting, they were all like hand painted one yeah. offs. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it was a certain kind. Yeah. No, that's true. I don't know who has though, but I made a lot of those too. They're yeah. not really around anymore. Yeah. Hold on, you sold them. You, you didn't sold give them, them away. But people okay. skated them. Yeah. So the art is not on man. anymore. Yeah. Oh, man, I, shit, man. That would be dope for someone to pull one of those out, man. Right. Like, hold it. You signed them. I didn't even sign. Oh them. Yeah. man. Oh, but now I man. paint on decks that are yeah. used. Uh huh. Actually, I painted one for my friend, and he's like, it's too nice. I'm, I said, nah. I, I painted it for you to yeah, skate. You better yeah. skate it. Yeah, man. But shout yeah. out Narek, my homie. Another go. Armenian friend that skates, too. Yeah, yeah. It's like should. rarity. Yeah. Hey, is that hopscotch right. right there? Did someone draw hopscotch? Oh, that does look like a hopscotch. Maybe kids are waking tell. up. They're starting to play. Maybe, yeah. man. Maybe. I think um, lockdown maybe change some people in the way that they Brutally. think, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Made them take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> a big oh, one, too. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. Hold on. So, so when the lockdown happened, and, you know, as we, as we wrap this up, I, I'm taking so much of your time, bro. But um, worry, This is nice. Did that make you more prolific? Did you create more during the lockdown? Or, or did you find it harder because you couldn't really go out and experience a lot of the world because a lot of shit was shut down. In a way, it did at the beginning. Yeah. I, I started to work a little bit. I would work, but yeah, I was working in the beginning of the lockdown, mm -hmm. like kind of. Yeah, I did some good shit during the lockdown, yeah. but then during it, my dad passed away. That was kind of crazy. Yeah. And after that, all I did was skate crazy and drink a lot Yeah. and just like, paint like barely paint yeah. I would paint but like not like the end <clears throat> yeah I painted like but I didn't paint as much because yeah. I was bummed out yeah of course and then and then everything's closed that's depressing yeah yeah man so I was just skating more and chilling with friends and and drinking yeah I wasn't being productive with like I was like I don't know I, I was in a different headspace yeah yeah more so that my dad had passed oh, of course yeah, it became a little bit crazy, but but in the past, like... Hold on, what made you break out of it, though? What made you break out of that mindset? I don't know. It just happened. I think I, I started skating so much that I started to get really hurt from yeah. skating. Uh, like, slamming, I, hurt, I got really hurt. I, like, fucked the shoulder up and my hip. Yeah. <clears throat> and then I just, like, I hit my head skating one day, too. Yeah. Like, I've hit my head a lot, but, like, it wasn't bad yeah i didn't like get a concussion or anything yeah. like i just like had a little blood yeah but i was like yo dude like yeah. you're getting wasted and you're skating and yeah. it's like not a good thing like, yeah man you need to chill out yeah and then by but by, by after the lockdown of after two weeks i stopped being scared of it i was scared yeah. of it for a couple weeks but after yeah after when you lose your a parent that's like sure. something that's your friend like it, yeah. it was a bummer but yeah, I came out of it like that. I had to like check myself yeah. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I'm always checking myself, yeah. you know, you like constantly. To. Like yeah. I'm always like reflecting. Like, yeah, you need to like work, you know. Yeah, yeah. And when the government gives you a lot of money, hey. and you don't have a way, other way to like hustle, you yeah. like, like, all right, you know what? I'm just gonna take a small one yeah. year vacation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. Or something. And I still pay it, but not as much. Yeah. But in the past, like, yeah, five, six months. Yeah. I've been painting a grip like yeah, a lot. Yeah. I got this nice studio where yeah. I live. Yeah. So I'm I'm really happy and I'm like going out to all the openings again. Yeah, and, man. Yeah. And I've made like I've probably made a thousand of these postcards yeah. in the past few years. Yeah. But in the past like four or five months, I've made like a few hundred and got really? rid of them. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Salt. Yeah. Damn, man. 
Just because yeah, I have no more government money also. Now <laughs> <laughs> no, you, no, you got to get to work, yeah. bro. <laughs> <laughs> that is beautiful, yeah. man. I love that. I lo- oh, God damn, man. <laughs> Speaking to my own heart, my friend. <laughs> right? Oh, man. Okay. I was hyped that you, that you were down to, like, kick it in person yeah, like this. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so no. much more fun. And thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, Mike, got to be out. Okay. All right. Oh, shit. Are we, are we good? Mine's good. Okay. All right. Ah, fuck, man. I don't even know what to, what to ask you anymore, bro. We take a, we take a, we take a quick one hit, dude. Right Let's here. go, Boom. man. All right. Thank you so much for your time, man. Joseph Avazian? Yeah, Avazian. Avazian. All right. A wonderful interview. I knew it was going to be great, man. Thank you so much for your Mr. time, Phillip, bro. Mr. thank you so Let's much. Let's absolutely do this again, man. I'm down. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe during the opening. Yeah, yeah. Come by and Let me know. It. Let me know. Like I'll document day the before, whole shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And film the show or something. Absolutely. Thank you so Beautiful. much to the videographer also. My, my nephew out here putting in some work. Uh, Young Waves. Young Waves on Instagram. I, I will leave his, uh, his handle and everything underneath there. All right, go check him out videographer supreme all right if you if you need some mark he'll do it for you for for a price all right he doesn't do it yeah. for free we this is to, free that's my nephew he did it for free today though, but i love it <laughs> yeah. all right everybody thank you so much the art of the artist thank you see you next time